Hi everybody, I'm Susan from Senior Style. Welcome to my Vlogmas number six. So thanks for staying with me. I'm really enjoying doing Vlogmas. I hope you guys are too. And please subscribe to my channel because once I hit 500, I'm doing a giveaway and you definitely do not want to miss out. All right, and like all the videos and make sure you ring my bell. All right, let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so we have the Reese's calendar here. All right, let me see if I can find number six. Got it here. Oh, there's a red one. All right, so we'll go ahead and that's number six there. I'll go ahead and give the red one to Ted. He'll appreciate it. Yeah, he likes the Reese's, so we'll do that. And then I have my handmade one that I made. And that was kind of fun. I highly suggest doing that. All right. Oh, we have number six right on top. All right, let's go ahead and unfold it. Oh, look! That's some cool buttons. I got these for free. Uh, the lady liked my channel, and she sent these to me. So I thought that was kind of nice. And I'll leave her um, information in the description if you want to order from her. She makes a lot of cool things. So these are just the little buttons, but... She makes other cool stuff too, so definitely check her out. So thank you for that. All right. And let's see what L'Occitan has for today, the fancy one. This one's a hard one to see, so. With the little market cart, not the bus. All right, so let's see where number six is. Ah! I found it right away. Scary. All right, so let's see what I got today. All right, this is like a minty kind of hand lotion. All right, so I'll look forward to using that. I'll stick that in my bag. And it just folds up like that that over in the corner and um, the bag of the day is my vintage multi material bag small tote basically it has all the different materials that coach makes suede patent signature metallic is on this side which is pretty cool this was a, a bag that was given to me by a lady that worked at, that worked at the brick. She's retired now. She never used it. And this bag is from the 80s. Has feet on the bottom. And I'm trying to find more information on this design from Coach. It was a collaboration. I believe the gentleman was African but I'm not really sure. I can't find anything on it. So if you guys have any information, let, let me know in the comments. But it's uh, considered a coin purse. So they have a lot of cool ones. They have Miss Pac-Man. They have some uh, uh, sequins ones, some sparkly ones. They have Rexy. They have a lot of different styles. Oh, and they have the Disney collaboration as well. But I'm trying to find more information on this one, but I'm having a hard time. All right, so that's my bag of the day. We went to the Cottonwood Mall and we had um, uh, some coffee. So please follow me on Instagram. I post every day, Susan Senior Style. Uh, so you don't miss out on all the the pictures and all the little fun things that we do, me and Ted do, uh, you know, throughout the day. Leave comments, like the pictures. There, it's, it's a lot of fun, actually. So, uh, 
it's nice if you have a, a hubby that likes it too, so that's even better, in my opinion. All right, so let's go ahead and get into the comparison of candles. All right, I'm 60 years old. I never really was into candles, personally. Uh, this year, I have bought several candles that I probably would have never bought in my lifetime. Um, however, they're not expensive candles, but they do smell totally different, and they do burn totally different. But I still wouldn't buy like a Louis Vuitton candle, even though they are nice and you do get the Vachetta handle and you could use it for other things because it's like a little uh, white bowl and I believe it is like china or porcelain. Uh, but honestly, for that kind of money, I could get a SLG. So I would rather have an SLG than a candle that's just, in my opinion, is just going to burn up your money. That's the way I kind of look at it. Like designer shoes, I maybe for like a special occasion, uh, but I'm already too old to be doing anything personally. I used to, like when I was younger and I worked at the refinery, we'd have like, Christmas parties and we'd get all dressed up and something like that would be totally different, but Just my own personal life No, it's just way too expensive and and I really wouldn't be getting my money's worth out of it Because I don't really go to anything fancy that I would even consider wearing designer shoes if that makes sense, so I like to look at them. They're they're gorgeous um, but personally, no, but I do have a few candles that I did purchase, uh, just to give you kind of a little comparison if you are interested. Um, I did get my first candle at the Dollar Tree for $1.25. It smells like vanilla, however, it's very light. And when you burn this type of candle, it goes straight down. Um, the other candle that I did purchase was, uh, for $7, which I know that doesn't sound like a lot of money, but for a candle, I don't know, I think it's a lot of money, personally. Now, cons comparison to, like, the dip tank and the, um... Uh, Tom Ford candles and Joe Malone and you know that kind of thing yeah that's those are really outrageous however for the money I would hope that you it would have a better smell longer smell maybe and it would burn longer but if you ever bought those really super expensive cameras um, candles not cameras uh, candles left. Let me know in the comments below if you feel they're worth it because I don't know. I just can't make myself buy something that expensive. I don't know. For a candle, no. For a bag, yes. For a SLG, Bando, anything like that, yes. But most of my items are pre-loved. So I do get a little bit of a savings rather than buying at the boutique, but I have bought things at the boutique that I felt were worth it. But I have to justify the amount like in my mind in order to buy it. I'm just I'm not going to just go buy it because it says Tom Ford on it or whatever. I'm not going to do it. But uh, the ones that I did buy Go ahead and bring them on over. This one is the dollar twenty-five one, and it does smell pretty good. It is fairly good size, actually. It's not one of those little bolted, bowed ones or those real small ones that you get. You put them in the little candle holder. 
So this one, the other one that I got was like a berry and it smelled pretty good too. But they go, when they burn, they go straight down the middle. So all this part you lose. So that was a little bit disappointing. But for $1.25, I mean, you can't really complain too much. Now this one is really, really pretty. This one I got at the Body Works. It has three wicks. And this one is the Marshmallow uh, Fireside. And this one smells really super good. Now the other one that I'm, I'm burning right now is the Gardenia one. And let me go get that one real quick. And that was for the same, same money, basically. But that's how that goes. So that one's almost finished. But see, it doesn't really burn too evenly. You have like the side here that didn't really burn like even. But it still smells really good even though it's burnt down that far. So that's just a little comparison of the candles that I purchased this year. Um, I just basically bought the candles because of the weather that we have in Canada. Um, just to kind of get the musty smell out of the house and make it smell a little bit nicer. Uh, I do like the pine scent during Christmas time. It's nice. I might consider getting another one of this style. I like this style. I, I feel for five dollars I mean you're getting a lot of candle and it smells really good and it lasts for quite a while. So I've had this one for about a week and it's not even done yet. And I burn it like every night and then before I go to bed then I you know blow it out. But for five dollars yeah I would say the Body Works one this one is okay for $1.25, but it's not actually my favorite. But these are these are great, actually. So I'd, I'd recommend these. All right, so that's my opinion on the candles that I purchased for this year. And please leave me any comments below. And until tomorrow... Thanks for watching. Susan from Senior Stuff from a Senior Point of View. See you tomorrow for Vlogmas number seven. Wear your mask. Bye now.